Four Seasons at a Guard session. And here is your host, Skitch Henderson. Thank you, gentlemen. We're here, of course, for the National Guard. Now let's let's hear the famous four. <laughs> the sound that everybody knows our guard session i'm very happy to say my guests are bob gaudio and and uh, frankie valley and frank i want to welcome you in behalf of the guard all this month nice to see you it's a pleasure being back here sketch when does it happen now where does it happen uh people like yourself with a company um takes a lot of people to even make a small group work today where is it where does it happen does it happen with concerts i in think the college circuit excuse me i'll try to place it someplace and then you tell yeah me. well i think uh I think in the past seven or eight years or, uh, or so, uh, it seems that that has been the direction for all of the young acts, since uh, most of the people who do go to college are uh, the younger audience, so they have a rapport with each other immediately. Mm -hmm. Most of the uh, acts we're playing the college, the college circuit today, have uh, uh, grown up with these people, so they do relate to them very easily. When you do, when you talk about the college circuit and the people that you play for, what kind of a music bill do you have? Is it, is, it, is it a music bill that somebody, say, that would relate to music maybe 15 or 20 years ago, would recognize when they walk in? Would they recognize any of the tunes? Well, uh, I can only speak for our particular setup, the way we work a concert. We do about a two-hour concert, and it's uh, we do a variety of music. We do many standards. We do uh, much of the music of today, mm -hmm. use of comedy. We try to... Uh, fix the show so that there is something in it for everyone in the audience. This is uh, the voice of authority with Four Seasons, Mr. Mr. Frankie Valley that I'm talking to. Also, Bob Gaudio is here. We're going to pause now, if we might, Frankie, for uh, a word from the guard, and we'll be right back. Great. One weekend last summer, Jim Cook of Buffalo, New York, was playing golf with a friend. And one weekend later, he was flying a combat mission in Vietnam. Asked how he managed to get combat ready in just a few days after his Air National Guard tactical fighter group was ordered to Vietnam, Jim said simply that his unit had never been unready. When the National Guard says that its men are ready to perform their duties on a moment's notice, Lieutenant Colonel James Cook of Vietnam will tell you that they mean exactly what they say. This is your host, Skitch Henderson. I'm here on a guard session, and my guests, I'm happy to say, are the Four Seasons. is the sound of the four seasons there are guests all of this month with the with their group and uh, i've been asking them about how you put the musical components together today to work on the on the road as it were part and parcel of your profession is the recording field or the recording business which is strange today how long does it take you to prepare for something like this well, with the business being as competitive as it is today and all of the changes in music uh, it takes quite a while to prepare for a session. It takes uh, a long time to put the material together and find exactly what you're going to do. Uh, we have, in our career, I, I would say that we have very rarely ever followed a particular market. We do the kind of music that, that we think the, the public might like. It doesn't necessarily mean that because uh, R&B music is happening that we have to go into that bag. We just do yeah, what we nice. like. That's nice to be able to say that. As far as, again, getting back to the, you know, to the problem of the recording industry, why is it now you people have had, you know, a, a bigger foothold than most of the people in the business? Why is it that groups are not able to repeat what brings them up? 
And there seems to be a record of this. Now, you, now you've been close to it. You know what the... What, do, what, what happens? Why do they go away? I think that uh, there are two major reasons. I think uh, most of them uh, get caught in, uh, in a, a thing that I call repetition. Uh, they try to repeat what they've done. You should never do this. Repeat success, you mean? Right. Uh, let's say, for instance, they do a particular song and it's got a certain groove, and they'll come back and do something that's really a takeoff on the first thing. Then there's another reason. Uh, many of the groups today, after one or two hit records, have the problem of uh, getting along with each other. They just can't seem to get along with each other. <laughs> this has never been discussed. That's interesting. Uh, they did it well when nothing was happening and everybody was starving. Uh, it was wonderful. Now everybody feels that they were responsible for the success. Now, our group has probably been together longer than any group around. Uh, I'd say about, we've had about eight years of success recording. Yes. And we were together for about five years before that. Really? I didn't realize it. And, uh, we made one change. It's real nice the way it's working, you know. We, we all share... And that's the way to build an organization. I think the main reason we've been together for quite a while is because we fight a lot. Okay, fellas, I want to take time out right here for a word from the guard, if I might. Fine. What is the National Guard doing in Vietnam? They're fighting. What is the National Guard doing in Maryland? They're looking for a lost child. What is the National Guard doing in Ohio? helping a community in the aftermath of a flood. What is the National Guard doing in Cuba? Ferrying supplies to our Marines in Guantanamo. What is the National Guard doing in Hawaii? The National Guard is that state's total air defense. What is the National Guard doing? Fighting our country's battles, defending each citizen's rights, helping our communities in times of strife. What can you do for the National Guard? The next time you see a guardsman, say thanks. That's all. sessions and bob and frank i want to ask you very much if you would come back next week love to be delighted in fact we'd come back any week <laughs> okay until then this is skitch henderson reminding you that your national guard is an action team that you can be proud of and thankful for <laughs> Four Seasons at a guard session, and here is your host, Skitch Henderson. Thank you, gentlemen, very much. Thank you indeed. We're here for the National Guard, and now let's hear this famous foursome. That, of course, I'm sure you're aware is the sound of the Four Seasons, who are our guests this week on Guard Session. Let me address a specific question to you, Bob Gaudio, if I might. Have you always done the writing? Uh, well, Skitch, it's, you know, since uh, the inception of the group, uh, I've been doing most of the writing. Uh, there's been a few occasions where we've taken outside material, uh, but most of them have been uh, writing and arranging for the group, putting things together and kind of taking care of the business. Well, now, do you write for anyone else? Um, well... I've written mostly for The Four Seasons or Frankie Valley, but on occasion, uh, there's been some songs that I've written that have been done by other artists. Uh, for instance, The Sun Ain't Gonna Shine Anymore, which was, uh, I believe, done by the Walk Brothers. Mm -hmm. And um, I Can't Take My Eyes If You Know, which has become quite a big stand that has been done by you know, quite a few different people, which Frankie had the original hit with. But basically, I've been, you know, uh, putting together a, a new album that's taking up most of the time. It's pretty difficult between writing and 
traveling and arranging to do much more than that. You know something that's interested me? Is it is it different writing for the Four Seasons than, say, any other group? Do you have to keep... <laughs> Frankie, don't get upset about this, but do you have to keep Frankie's falsetto in mind? Yeah, I would say so. Uh, I think more important than just the fact of the falsetto is that Frankie has a phenomenal range. It's somewhere uh, like three octaves. And uh, that's great for a songwriter. And in my case, I try to use, uh, utilize it as much uh, as possible uh, when I'm writing for the group or writing for Frankie. And it, it leaves me a lot more leeway than it normally would for uh, someone else. That's lovely to hear. I want to take time out right here for a word from the guard, if I might. Okay. Listen to this quote from an Air Force commanding officer. He was talking about the Air National Guard unit that joined his squadron for combat duty in Vietnam. This is what he said, and I quote, They came in with such a fine attitude, it didn't take us long to find out that they were real pros. They proved their capability faster than any outfit I've ever seen. They're just outstanding. Now, that's the end of the quote, and we think, well, we'll let it speak for itself. This is your host, Skitch Henderson. I'm here on a guard session. My guests are the Four Seasons. That, of course, is the sound of the Four Seasons. I have a couple of the Four Seasons with us all of this month for guard session, Mr. Bob Gaudio, and, and uh, Frankie Valley is here. Frankie, I know that that excerpt or that uh, that cut, as we say, comes from a new album. Uh, where do you get wild ideas like this new album, which is what based on tabloid form or news? What's the title? First off, please tell it's us. It's called uh, Genuine Imitation Life Gazette, and it's done in the form of a newspaper. I mean, really, in the form of a newspaper. You there's. Uh, a uh, front page like you would see in a newspaper and then you open it and there's a colored section like you would see in your Sunday news. The Rotogravure. There's, right, yes. there's a comic strip and there's advertisements and it's a, the whole thing, a stock sheet, a sports sheet. And uh, we felt that since we've been working the college circuit and dealing with the, you know, the young kids today, we find that they're extremely intelligent. Uh, some of the packages we have seen in the past are really an insult to their intelligence. We would like to make some basic changes in our business or be helpful or be responsible or get this whole thing started where everyone would look at it this way. I think music and art are probably the two most important things in everyone's life. Now, back to this album. It's done with a concept. It deals with many of the realities that we live with today and many of the things we pretend to be real. And, uh... There are some very, very heavy things. There's one particular song in it. It's called The American Crucifixion and Resurrection. This deals with the race problem. Uh, we've hit on every subject. Yeah, it's a good look at American society, or it's a good look at all societies, actually. This is Guard Session. My guests all of this month are members of, of course, the Four Seasons. We're talking about the music business really as it is today without being too inside. Frankie, that's a very interesting philosophy. I want to pause now for a moment for a word from the Guard, if I may. You go right ahead. You want to be a real cornball, a square? Just announce to a group of friends someday that you love your country. Be patriotic in public and watch them cringe. Go a step further and tell them you like what the National Guard stands for. Guardian of your country, defender of democracy. Tell them I'm an American and proud of it. That and a dime your best friends will tell you in confidence will get you a cup of coffee. Patriotism is passe. The Air National Guard pilot who takes a few days off from a job to fly wounded GIs back from Vietnam is a chump. He could be playing golf. The guardsman who helps protect your property in times of civil strife, what's his angle? We think we know his angle. He's a guy who takes a lot of pride in the job he does for his country and community. He's patriotic, a real square. Thank God. Completely. 
This is the sound of our guests on guard session, the Four Seasons. I want to thank specifically Bob Gaudio and, of course, Frankie Valley for being with me on these sessions and giving us a little insight of what makes it work today. Nice to see you, Skitch. This has really been a pleasure and uh, something that we have been looking forward to do. Thank you. Until next week, then, when our guest, I'm very happy to say, will be the bubbling baritone, Mr. Robert Goulet. This is Skitch Henderson reminding you that your National Guard is an action team that you can be proud of and thankful for. Thank you.